today's special guests are Della Reese and Fred Grandy. And now, here is your host, Dick Clark. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, we've got a jolly good group today. You and I are going to share the pleasure of watching two people uh, try this game for the first time. Della Reese and Fred Grandy have, uh, to my knowledge, never played it before. Have you ever played the game with Bill Cullen? Yes, Neither? once with Bill Cullen. So you've had a little bit of practice. If you want to call it that. <laughs> well, that's, you know, you just stay there for a day or so and it's over and out. Here we're going to grind you, my dear. We're going to work you over. It's fun. Though. Yes, Go it on. is. Fellow you're with, though, is an expert. Uh, Jim Hickey's been here a couple of times before, four, as a matter of fact. Yes. You're trying for $20,000? Yes, I am. How much have you got so far? Uh, 1950 according to a reliable source. To the penny, that is correct. <laughs> you're from, uh, I'm trying to think, West, uh, West Hempstead somewhere? Homestead. Homestead, where's yeah, that? Uh, about uh, eight miles outside of Pittsburgh. Nice to have you aboard, sir. Fred, welcome aboard from Love Boat. Thank you, Dick. Where should I get my pipe and pipe you on? What's the guy's name? You have a gopher, is it? That's right. I can never... I, I have well, a... I never answer to that name when I wear this suit, though. So. Only when you're dressed right. up with the crew. White shorts and little socks. And then... Welcome to our little get-together here, Thank Fred. You. And uh, Lori Wexler is your partner. Lori, what do you do, please? I'm a student. I'm taking acting classes here in the city right now. Since you're the newcomer, Laurie, we're going to start the game with you oh, and Fred. Okay. I'll call your attention to these along with Della and uh, Jim, and then we'll all have a shot at them. We have Morning Glory, What's the Bright Idea, uh, Pick a Pocket, Bread Basket, and all that stuff, Why Not? And I'll ask you, Fred, to make the first selection, and then we'll be underway. Well, I just got a little whisper that said, Why Not? She's so whispering in your ear. She, maybe she knows something you don't know. Could be. By the way, if a seven crops up along the way, you have a bonus of uh, a possibility to win $500 for your partner. These are words that end with the letter Y, and you'll have 30 seconds in which to describe them. They come up on the little screen there. You can do practically anything you want except read part of the answer or give us a word that conveys the essence of the answer. If you do that, thing sounds off. Okay. Let me repeat the category again. It's words that end with the letter Y. Ready? Go. All right. This is a little brown coin. Uh, a penny. Right. <clears throat> Not the army, but the... The navy. Uh, beautiful. Um, be um... The, uh, a girl is like a melody. Uh, what, a what pretty you... girl. Right. Uh, not the head, but the... The tor uh, the body. Right. Uh, not an emerald, but the red Ruby. stone. Right. Uh, geography and um, the remembering historical events. History. American. Right. Go ahead. Oh, right. Uh, this is the stuff that you do in a store. With. Sorry about that, Fred. Ah, mm -hmm. That's an historical. Uh, I'm afraid that's what we call conveying the essence of the answer. When I say uh, history, historical for history. He's a little blunt, old fella. Uh, five out of seven in case we get. Della, which one do you want? Well, my part is pick a pocket. All right. I hope this is... Ay, 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 ay. Ah, you picked the right pocket, honey. I'm going to say, Jim, I hope you've had no personal experience on the receiving or the taking end of that routine. <laughs> these, uh, Della, are things found in a pocket. Describe these things found in a pocket. If you get seven out of seven, seven Jim will pick up $500. Ready? Go. You chew it. Gum. Chewing gum. You do your hair with it. Uh, you cry into it. A uh, handkerchief, a Kleenex, a tissue. Yes. Uh, you'd have a driver's, a, a marriage. License. Uh, it's, it's not dollar bills, it's small. A uh, change. Uh, it's for luck. Uh, good luck charm. A uh, uh, horse... It uh, comes from a small furry animal. A uh, rabbit's foot. Um, the ticket, part goes to you and part goes a to... A stub. The... That's it! All right, all right! All right, five hundred dollars. Jim, that puts you up to uh, $2,450 now as a grand total on your way, hopefully, for your sake, to $20,000. Here's a lady about to try for a uh, win to go for $10,000. Lori? I think we'll try the bread basket. The bread basket is the choice. And Fred, okay. she's going to describe for you these things associated with bread. Things associated with bread. Ready? Go. Uh, it's around the edge of it. It's the crust. Started, right. Uh, you put it on. It's yellow, margarine, um, or... Um, and uh, butter. Right. Um, it's, it's a big piece of bread. The whole thing is the called it, right? Uh, it makes it rise. It's a little a yeast. yeast, right? Uh, it's, it's where the, the bread is made. Oven. No, in the, a store that sells it would be... A bakery. The, right. Uh, and this is, it, it goes inside, or in a turkey, you put in... The stuffing. Right. 
Uh, this, you go like this to do it. It's, it's a, a rolling pin. pin. Right. Hey, hey, that's it. Hit your stride. Score is 12 to 7. Fred, that's a good job. That's the way it's done. Jim? Well, how about right at the top? Morning Glory. Uh, the Morning Glory, uh... Della, these are things associated with the morning, he is about to describe. Things associated with the morning. Ready? Go. Uh, when you eat. And Breakfast. Uh, you don't take a bath, you take a... Shower. Uh, not a hen, but a cock-a-doodle-doo. A rooster. Uh, the wet stuff on the grass. Uh, dew. Uh, it's breaking over the horizon. The sun's coming up. It's Sunrise. It's, the sun's coming up. It's, it's not... break. It's not sunset, it's... Sunrise. No, past. Okay, what goes off in the morning? Tick tock, tick tock, uh, ring. Alarm clock. Uh, the uh, not the tonight, but the tomorrow. No, now. Today. Oh, today's show is the one we're shooting for. Uh, uh, an interesting situation. It's twelve to twelve. The game has uh, gotten neck and neck all of a sudden. Lori and Fred, we have what's the bright idea and all that stuff. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say, what's the bright idea? Because I have no idea what all that stuff is. And it right. might be ambiguous. Laurie, do you want him to give or receive? You can have a choice here. Uh, I think I'll give. I all think right. will. Fred, you're going to be on the receiving end of clues here uh, on things that light up. Things that light up. Ready? Go. Uh, it takes you to the hospital. It's an emergency An ambulance. Um, this is my... Uh, your complexion. You no, know, my... The whole thing. Just your face. My, right. Um, it's, it's a hanging light fixture, a very fancy, ornate. Uh, a chandelier. Uh, right. Um, it's just a mechanical person. A robot. Right. Um, this is, um, it's, you throw it and it lights up. Um, a in emergency, uh, you keep a it flare. in your, right. Uh, this is, um, you put money in and, and, and it, it, the little thing goes around and makes noise. And a jukebox. It. No, and it's a game. A pinball machine. Right. Yes, it is. Can we get them all? It's a good score, Fred and Laurie, but it may leave a one-point hole in there. Uh, you've got 18. They need all the answers to win it. How will you play? Okay, I guess I'll give. Okay. All right. Uh, Jim, I should remind you that you can skip one and go for the tie if you get stuck. That might be strategy you want to play, but on the other hand, if they're just clicking along, all you need is 19 to win. These are things that are padded. Things that are padded. 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 Ready? Go. Okay, what you sleep on? On the bed, is Mattress. The, uh, what a woman wears up here. A bra. Uh-huh. Uh, a catcher's... Mitt. Yeah. Uh, uh, up here. This is my... Shoulder. Yeah. Uh, a prison, a jail with... Cell. Uh, on a hockey team, a guy that plays by the net. The man uh, that plays by the net. Pass. Uh, uh, pass. Okay, uh, a salesman goes, has money to spend on hotel rooms and everything. That's his... Uh, expense account. Yeah. All right, it's a tie. We'll go to a tie breaker right after this word. Same game, folks, except all the words begin with one letter or the other. And, Della, you get the choice. Do you want to describe things that begin with A or S? My partner says S. S. You'll have A when we get there, Fred. Stand by. Della, describe these things that begin with the letter S. Ready? Go. A person who studies. A uh, student. Um, pass. Uh, children get it when they're naughty. Uh, spanking. Uh, you get ice cream this way on a Scoop. cone. Uh, this man stands guard. A uh, uh, sentry. Uh, it's how long you go to school. Uh, a semester. Uh, this man hides and shoots people. Sniper. That's all we have, folks. You've got oh six God. out of seven. I didn't know how to say that to you. Did you know how to say people? Something like here's the church, church. Yeah. and yeah, here's the that. blank, and inside that. are all the people. I didn't know how okay. to say that. Yeah, I was... Okay. Oh, well. All right. I get everything. Yeah. Simple situation here. If you get them all, you win. Mm -hmm. If you do not get them all, we may go to another tie. Fred, describe these things that begin with the letter A. They need 25. A. Ready? Go. This is a gorilla. Eight. Right. Uh, math is? Um, algebra. Um, no. Arithmetic. Right. Uh, uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Um, the, the Alamo. Right. Um, and old lace. Arsenic. Uh, this is, uh, you know, time something. Go on to the next Avenue. One. No. Uh, this is a lie. I was there, but I really wasn't. An alibi. Right. Uh, you wear this around your neck in, in London. Uh, An ascot. Right. All right, it's tied up. We have to go to a tiebreaker. Jim. 
take the screen, or you'll give the clues on the next one. You have the choice. Do you want to describe things that begin with the letter Z or the letter W? W. W. You have Z when we get there. Describe these things that begin with the letter W. Ready? Go. Okay. Outside. Wind. Uh, a teepee is also a... A wigwam. Uh, if something is really strange, it's... Weird. Uh, you carve wood. You, an old man sitting on the park bench with a knife and wood. Pass. Uh, pass. Uh, a state out in the, uh... A Wyoming. Yeah. Uh, a president back in the, um, oh, around 1900. First World War. Woodrow Wilson. Uh, if you, uh, walk around a lot, you don't know where you're Wonder. going. Wander. That's it, folks. That's all we have. <laughs> The same situation again. Whitley, Whitley. Laurie, the same deal. Right. You can take it away from him if you get all the answers. On the other hand, you may decide you want to go for the tie. Describe these things that begin with the letter Z. Ready? Go. Uh, where all the animals are. Zoo. Uh, none is. Zero. Right. Uh, uh, the mark of. Zero. Right. Um, if you have lots of vim and vigor and... Uh, zip? Uh, yeah, and it's and a soap also. Uh, 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 zest. Right. Um, it's a, um, a fake diamond is a... Is, is, uh, zap. Go on, next uh, one, please. Uh, a real, uh, one, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's just a, a person who's real, oh, just, uh, 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 just don't know what you're doing. Oh, sorry, folks, you've lost it by two. We have consolation this. Come on to the winner's circle. Don't worry about it. Man alive. Uh, the only only trick here now is to relax, because we've got to continue the game. You get your free rub down, Jim. You got $2,450. This is your fourth try for $20,000. Take your breath. Concentrate now. Get yourselves together. Here's your first subject. Go. The propeller. Parts of a plane. Uh, they call me Moby Dick because uh, I'm a big, so big and... What and, a whale would say. Jaws uh, and... Uh, fish in the sea. Types uh, of fish. Next. Famous movies. Um, the Baptist. Uh, famous uh, John's. Martinis. Types of drinks. Uh, the desert. Uh, things that are dry. Uh, Cheez-Its and potato uh, chips snacks. and... Snacks. Um... Mm. Um, violin lessons. Uh, uh, things you uh, learn. Um, things you're instructed on. Uh, no charge. Uh, do that, Bella. Go back to the other one. Um, Go ahead. Uh, I, I'm so big, I'll catch you underwater and cut off your legs. Um, uh, uh, I'll swim up on you and I'll cut you to pieces. Fish says. Um, what a, uh, I'm what a shark says. One and, uh, <laughs> what did I do? Oh. Matches, coupons, samples. What, what, what did you get? A description. Oh, right? yeah, no charge of the description. Uh, we'll be back in a second. I said no charge. It's okay. It's following up. <laughs> On the pyramid today, we're uh, guesting with Della Reese and Fred Grandy. We have a new player whose name is Gail Lewis. Gail, what do you do? I'm a registered nurse at a hospital in Glen Cove, Long Island. Good luck to you and to Jim. Everybody, take a look over here at the new subject. We've got. Your hit parade. Say, cheese, I've got you under my skin training season. Stocks and bonds and watch your step. Della, your team starts first. What my partner team? says, say, cheese. Say, cheese it is. Please describe these things that are photographed. Doesn't have anything to do with cheese. Say, things that are, things that are photographed. Ready? Go. Our president, uh, Carter, Jimmy Carter. Uh, more than one baby. Five babies. Triplets. Five babies. Quintuplets. Uh, not the loser, but the... Winner. Uh, where Mickey Mouse comes from? Disneyland. Uh, when two cars collide? Accident, collision. Um, it's in France, and it's a... Eiffel Tower. Uh, no, it's... Uh, Arc de Triomphe. Yes. Uh, when two horses come in head and head, and they're not sure. It's a, a photo finish. Finish Indeed line. it is. The perfect score, ladies. <laughs> Can't get any better than that. Fred, please. I think we're going to go with I've got you under my skin. All right, please describe uh, things associated with the skin. Things associated with the skin. Ready, go. Okay, you get these on your face, face with sun? Uh, no? uh, peel, uh, sunburn. No. Freckles. Right. All right, you put this on your nose. Powder. Yeah. Um, it's not thin, it's... Fat. No, uh, thin. Uh, the opposite fat. of thin. The opposite of thin We've is... We've been through and thin. Thick. Right. 
Uh, on your face. A beard with hair. What is the little hair's called? Whiskers. Right. Uh, this is your face, you, your... Your complexion. Right. Uh, you go to this doctor. A skin, skin doctor. Dermatologist. Right. Well, you get a bump in... Ah. Okay. That's okay. That was the last one. Seven to six is four. Tight game working. Gail? Gail? Oh, um, training season. Please describe for Della these things that are trained. These things are trained. Ready? Go. Okay, this is someone who serves you in a rich person's house. A butler. Right. This is uh, like a porpoise. It's also how you close an envelope. A seal. Right. This is someone who takes shorthand. Stenographer. This is uh, a cat gets these. Dogs get these in Please. the summer. This is uh, a skater, a famous skater. She has a good, a cute little haircut. Uh, Alexander. Ragtime. Skip it. Uh, this is someone who's out in the ring going like Boxer. this. Right. This is um, a dental, someone who helps him out. It's a dental. Okay, 12 to 6. Assistant, and the have a possibility now of tying it up for moving ahead. Jim? Watch your step. Describe for your partner these things people step on or walk on. Things people step on or walk on. Ready? Go. Uh, the part of a ship that you walk on. The uh, deck. Uh, a balancer and a... Uh, Tight rope. Yeah. Uh, a wrestling thing on the floor. Mat. Uh, on the floor of a kitchen is found... Linoleum. Uh, not fourth, but fifth street. Um, first, no, third... Uh, street. Another name for street. Avenue. Uh, up on your... Toes. Uh, Tiptoes. Yeah. Uh, sand and something mixed. Uh, uh, gravel. Yeah. That's it. They moved Good. ahead by the point. I'm better at Great. guessing it. Score is 13 to 12. Mm -hmm. Gail and Della have the choice of your hit parade in stocks and bonds, ladies. It is stocks and bonds. Stocks and bonds. Do you want Della to give? And yes, I do. You'll receive. Please describe for her these things associated with the stock market. Things associated with the stock market. Ready? Go. The man who sells. The stockbroker. Uh, what I just said. Uh, sells. Uh, the street that they do it on. Oh, Wall Street. Oh, go ahead. Continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, when it's not together, it's apart. Separate dividend. It's uh, it's right lives. down the middle. Uh, you just said it. The last dividend. Word. Uh, it, it runs through a machine. It comes out and you read. Ticket what tape. That, uh, my part and your part. Uh, act a roll. A part. Separate dividend. A share. That was a tough break, ladies. That four-point lead may not hold up here. Uh, Fred, are you uh, going to give or Jim? Or I think Jim's, Jim's going to give. All right, Jim, okay. please describe for your partner. Uh, oh, lovely. <laughs> oh. Describe or hum these songs. Oh. little musical interlude really now, gentlemen. You need 18 points to win this thing. You can describe, or you may, if you feel like it, <laughs> these songs. All right? Ready? Go. Okay. <laughs> and Christmas. Uh, Jingle Bells. Uh, <laughs> uh, Star Spangled Banner. Okay, not today, but... Tomorrow. Okay. La, la, da, da, da. Uh, 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 Debbie Boone sang it. You light up my life. Uh, da, 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 not, not poor, but... Rich. If I were a rich man. Yeah. That's the winner. <laughs> You would get this card. <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> Let's go to the winner's circle. Thank you very much. Jim has $2,800. This is your fifth try now, and we're going to shoot for $20,000. i have given you really all the instructions off camera, and everybody else has heard them. So uh, there's one thing. You should hear this sound. That's distressing to say the least. That means you made a mistake, but leave it, and we'll kick it around after it's over. Gentlemen, good luck for $20,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Uh, Tijuana. Place it in Mexico. Uh, t p we'll take that. All right. The Way We Were. A famous song. Funny Girl. Uh, Barbara Streisand song. A snail. A clam. Things that are slow. Things with a shell. Right. Your heart. Things that break. Your fingers. Uh, uh, Things you touch. Your, your, go on to the next one. An egg, bacon, things that you fry. Uh, all right. Uh, fenders, 
things that uh, crumple, things that uh, bend. All right, I'm going to go back to the, the car. To the other one. Okay. Um, your heart. Things you uh, your feel. Your fingers. Things you feel with. Things. Um, uh, you, um, all right, up to the other one. Uh, a fender. Um, a things uh, that are hubcap. Shiny. Things that are shiny. Things ah, that are silly. So you don't really mean a fender. <laughs> you mean a bumper. I mean a bumper. <laughs> I kept oh, saying, he doesn't need a fender. I mean a bumper. Yes. <laughs> Turn around and take a look at the other one. Jim, you're up to $3,050. We'll be back in a second. I was trying to figure out how to say double cross without a... What else would you cross? Hey, we got to run, folks. Thank you very much. We're going to jump you over here, Jim, tomorrow. Fred, we'll see you then. Della, until tomorrow, for now, so long. Today's consolation prize is our Sarah Coven's jewelry, versatile fact... Classic Hollywood Squares every night at 7 p.m. Eastern. What are you laughing at? Oh, shut up. Strips keeps on working even after 30 minutes. Things associated with the skin. Ready, go. Okay, you get these on your face, face with Simple. suns? Uh, no? uh, peel, uh, sunburn. No. Freckles. Right. All right, you put this on your nose. Powder. Yeah.